Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Against the Hive uh, campaign where I'm trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with the hardest set of mob, uh, mods and on top of it with no armor or weapon upgrades. So, yep, it's going pretty bad lately, but I'm sort of squeezing out a win here and there, uh, much to my own surprise. It's time for the uh, Chosen Assassin's Stronghold and although she's immune to melee attacks, I think Hogbite will lead the team nicely into this uh, very difficult mission. 25 enemies detected, let's just see what we're dealing with. Mechs, Lancers, Shield Bearers, uh, lots of uh, just normal advent. Spectres, Vipers, uh, Chrysalids and an Archon Prime. Well, that's a lot of, that's a mouthful. But yeah, overall I think we're fine. I got the A-team with an A-team equipment, we even got a Mimic Beacon uh, just in case we need it. Got a Ghost Grenade just in case we need it and uh, got uh, the Frost Grenade potentially for the Archon Prime. Um, so with that, let's jump into the mix and see if we can actually get down the last of the Chosen. That would make uh, the rest a bit easier. We're still having uh, two really, really hard missions ahead of us. Good, time to land. And with that also time to get a little bit deeper in here. Not sure exactly which way. I'm this here seems like a mech bay, uh, this is the typical laboratory, not sure about this one here, uh, not sure, neither is the final room, that's for sure. Wrong planet, moves over there. Memory moves over here and Lyrical moves over there. Good. Overwatch. Overwatch. Let's brace here. Okay. The idea is we want to trigger at one pack at a time. We know 25 enemies are here, so it's going to be a bit tricky overall. Just double checking if any of this here looks like enemies are in the way. No. Nah, not really. Well, maybe they are, they are there, but I haven't uh, spotted them immediately. All right, interesting. Big gate here, big gate there. Let's open that door. And whilst we're at it, move in, move in, move in, Taurus moves in, and memory. I think we can position here. Okay, so far. Things are, relatively speaking, quiet. Got some nice a lot of brace and we're hearing a door open. Okay, let's see. 
where we need to go. Okay, still trying to figure out if there are enemies. This here might look like a bunch of enemies or just like a table. No, it's, it's just a table. Oh, this might be good. Now that's just another table. I tell you what, I need a bit more time to figure out where the enemies are. They came from up here, which means all I need is a clear sign where these guys are sitting. Hmm, this here might be it. This might be it. Lots of uh, resistance here. Good. No, it was not it. We knew there'd be resistance today. You know what to do. Nice little hit. Okay, well, it's on. It is officially on. So, if we were to hit the guys over here. That would set them nicely up. Four hits is a good start. Um. Tell you what. Um. I would love to. First of all, take one of the enemies down from the left hand side. But that might not be possible. So, Ockbite is immune to explosions, but is he immune to grenades? Hmm. I think he is. I think they count as explosions. Let's go with that. Down. Yeah, I was right. Okay. All right. Um, so, listen. Uh, how about... How about we're actually hitting... Just like this? Okay. Very well. 
Well, that's a good start. I would like us to take uh, the mech down. Good, we're killing the other trooper. Hopefully it is forced to do a bit of cleanup duty here. Now I think we're still okay for now. Purifier gets hit. Oh, gets badly hit. And that's a double kill. Okay, need to get that shield bearer next. I like the amplify. Nope. There we go. Good hit. Fantastic hit. It's another pack. Almost. No, he actually pulls it. Okay. Well, they do have technical analysis, so we're actually fine. Chance for crit. Yeah, let's just go. Down to eight uh, hit points. Almost got him. Almost got him down. So that's just going to be a suppression. Unfortunately, we can't hit the Elite Lancer. Overwatch. Overwatch. And we could put ourselves to here, which means only the Stun Lancer could hit us. I think that's the right uh, thing to do. Even if we're taking a bit of damage, we should be fine. Hogbite does have uh, Bladestorm. Okay. 
Lots of horrible watchers. Interesting. Time to stun the Prime, which is a nice um, little kill against him, likely. Got untouchable. A to nine, okay, good. Well, I can tell you. Damn it. I wanted to. I wanted to amplify the Archon, but it didn't work out. I was expecting that to be a little bit more spectacular. Seems doable. Memory moves up. Oh, come on. Continuing to hit the Archon. Together we are strong. Uh, I think I want to get it down, although it's currently... Although it is currently stunned. Planet takes this guy out. Not too shabby. Rock and roll. Right, strike. And we're cleaning up the rest of the first pack. Parrying and overwatch. End of turn. Alright, yeah, go for parry. There you go. Lots of overwatch shots again. Very good. Let me just double check. Do we have an ability to ignore overwatch? I think we do. good that's untouchable right there might trigger one more overwatch. Good, so this guy is down. At maximum there is going to be one shot at us.
Moving up with Namri. Fabulous then? loot, I like it. I Untouchable, so we can move forward and essentially be the one that okay. is drawing out uh, the overwatch shot, uh, the, the actual shot. Now he's dead, no point in wasting any ammunition. We're bracing instead. We're watching here. And moving to here. There's the parry. This will be triggering the overwatch. That's solidly missed. Unfortunate miss. Okay. Well, that's a kill. Taurus moves over and suppresses the demo. Trooper will be dead because we do have Blade Storm. Let's go, boys, let's go. I was not expecting that. To have attacked uh, the demolitionists first. That sucks. Anyways. First charge of our medkit. Those are valuable charges, I don't want to waste them. Okay, we are slowly but surely moving to the other side. as clean as I hoped it would be. We've lost a few uh, hit points here and there. It's not the end of the world, but I really am always striving for an absolute clean approach. Okay, perfect. Uh, that was a vision barrier bug. Which is great. Good that it still exists. It would have been dearly missed if it wouldn't. Full cover. Emery wants full cover as well. Overwatch here. Lyrical overwatches and Hogbite, frankly, 
doesn't give a shit and therefore just runs over. Back in. Tactical analysis saves our ass. Plenty of overwatches on the other side. Okay. And for whatever reason, we can see through the walls. Psst. Ridiculous. Big fat damage and... We're overwatching, just in case someone wants to come through. This should trigger the overwatches. Okay, well, we're moving out. And here I think we could again overwatch. Now that they have triggered all of their stupid overwatches, I am wondering. Namri. Um, no we're switching sides, wrong planet over here. Going to start going quite heavy onto the Mac. Want to make sure we're not using too many of our uh, of our consumables. I think I can get through this without a lot of trouble. Unfortunately, not a hit. Okay, maybe we can pull this off. One kill. No, I mean. That's not a bad position, and we would be able to kill the purifier. But we also would be in the firing line. Maybe even unnecessarily, so might as well just go here. Reaper was not needed. And instead we're just waiting for them to come in.
Yeah, I hope Bite is immune uh, to poison, but nice try. in and killed this guy. Kill. We're untouchable. And uh, back to here. into our second heal. Got that one down. So Cougar moves up. Emery just hunkers down. And listen, this here needs to end. Parrying Overwatch. Okay, well, well. Could we have done a better job? Absolutely. Was it okay, all things considered? Sort of. We lost two charges of the med kit. Not the end of the world. I secured our mimic beacon on the other hand. Still got uh, quite a few uses of our uh, Inspire, which is important. Back on live. No one will slip past. And let's regenerate our cooldowns. So Cooper is a little bit, tiny bit low, but I think 11 is still okay. Okay. We also got to take into consideration this was yet again another bug. And as I always say, these are happy accidents. If you are truly playing Iron Man, you just gotta deal with it. It happens. The game is unfair. I always take it as a small compliment although the game can't directly compliment you but small compliment where I 
uh, could almost sense that the game is using these little methods in order to get a bit of damage in or make it more difficult than it needs to be. Good, I bet you the enemies are waiting in the last uh, chamber. Yep. I would win this bet 9 out of 10 times. And enemies are here. Can't bombard them through here, unfortunately. But this here will trigger a lot of blade storms. Transport portal directly ahead. Updating coordinates now. Let's go. All right. Let's go, boys. Hawkbite goes to town with them. Let's read it. I have to wonder, where are the other chrysalids? Okay, now we know. Um, let's start with lightning hands, shall we? Continuing with the Genuine Reaper. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Is that third one still alive? Trust in the power we share. It somehow must be alive. Anyways. Attention, j'arrive. Moves up. Big fat massive hit. Okay, almost there. We're moving up here and here. Thing is revealed. We will overcome. Okay. 
point blank in your face. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. I can handle that. Memory moves up. That's right. And I think we just killed every single one of them. Turn. I'm trusting you here. Sure thing. Ready to engage. Reload. Should Reload. And I think we're good. Time for an ascension. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Been here before. Brace for tra All right. <clears throat> Let's go, boys. Time to. Get uh, the chosen down. Advent forces on the ground. Ooh, okay. Let's do this. Whenever we're bracing, apparently we can see a little bit further than normal. Now. Let's just overwatch. And let's get this guy down. Oh, nice. Apex Predator proc right away. Elite Spectre is coming. Okay. Well, hello there. Spectre dodged. Tried to dodge again, but failed to do that. Lyrical moves up. And that is that. Namri begins to move. Okay, cool. So, let's make sure that we do have decent positions here. Typically, you should be able to kind of go to here. Everything further might be a trap. I am considering if wrong planet might just stand there. No problem, boss. Moving to Overwatch. All, All right, reload Overwatch. My watch begins. Let's do reload. Overwatch. We're going to go. I just want to make sure everybody is ready. Okay, cool. So we're going to trigger her. So what are we dealing with? We got immunity to melee, I know that much. And as Overwatch at the end of the turn, immunity to melee can summon savage species, um, kinetic plating, and has significant dodge bonus. So she will dodge a lot. Bewilderment, we just need to hit her often, and Skirmisher, unfortunately, is not an option here. But the Bewilderment will be definitely an option. Okay, here we go.
She oftentimes hides here or here, so I wouldn't be surprised to find her standing right there. Duh. Alright, so move up. She has tactical analysis going. So she uh, must be pretty slow here. Good, Namri. Place is a little bit of a surprise here, just in case anyone ever wants to move through. And I think we're just going to suppress her. Running and gunning. She still has armor left over. Okay, Moving up a little bit closer because I'm thinking about how to get that sarcophagus soon. Suppressing her. And unfortunately, we're missing. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I think we're just going to try to hit her any anyways. Nice hit, by the way. Super good. Yeah, we don't want to hit her. We're just going to stay here. The elder servants are eager to join the fray. Damn it! Two fire starters. That's a lot to take in. Luckily our blade storm is good and on point. Unfortunately harbor wave. <sighs> Stupid harbor wave. We need to get our people back on their feet, Commander. All right, revive. And another revive. Well, let's first of all move out. Absolutely. Namri moves in closer. Trying to remove as much cover as possible. I think that would be good. And so also shredding her.
Okay, so I think this here will bring him just into range to be to be executed. I want to make sure we're giving her a good target to deal with. I'm not using Reaper because I want A, focus back, and B, I want parry. Let's go down to 6, that is level range. And Zukuger moves up next turn. We can actually uh, start killing her. For now, let's just continue sh reducing her hit points further. And we're moving close, uh, a little bit closer. She's unfortunately immune, elsewise this would be very, very easy. Okay, cool. Well, suppression still works. Um, hitting her, which is good. Building up more focus. There we go. Worked like a charm. Without further, good hit, very good hit. Good, we want to suppress her. We are keeping her in here. Uh, I think we're just reloading and overwatching. And here it's the same. Lots of overwatch. All right. Good. She's down, which gives us now two full rounds to uh, completely unload on the sarcophagus and we better make uh, that count first round end of first round we're going to see spawns good decent shot Um moves to here. Deals more damage.
We're continuing to snipe. The Rekir moves up. Where I'm willing to stand in the open, no problem. Burst firing down to 45 hit points. I like that. Hits once, dual strikes. Down to 25 hit points, okay. No retreat. Trying to squeeze out as much as humanly possible. I think we could actually get it down. Interesting. How is uh, the boy immediately able to react? Okay. Interesting turn of events. Um Wow. Okay, we we got to deal with uh the stupid boar. And first we got to shred it. Fortunately, this pillar is exactly in the way. Mm. Let me think this through. We can definitely start amplifying on the boa. Horus will not die with that grenade. This is for you. It will remove the Overwatch though and only problem is the prime. My power leaves me. Sure, I've potentially done that beforehand.
Forest moves to here. Begins to heal herself. Good enough for now. I think I want to actually kill... Oh, I should have shot first. My bad. That was a mistake. hit points Okay, how many more hit points does it have? 11. Down to six. Let's just get it down. Of course, minimum damage. Percent kill. I want to make sure we're definitely going to kill the sarcophagus. With the capacitor damaged, the regeneration process has been interrupted. I believe now would be the appropriate time to take them out. And you know what to do. Take that creature down. Good. We're going to kill, and the berserker might uh, might uh, get a hit on us. Or not, they were just killing him as well. Another unequal 
All right. Let's make sure we are spotting her out. Good, that's a kill. And... I think he's immune to frost. That's why I would have used the frost grenade on him. We can get the shield bearer down. He's dead. No problem, boss. Regrouping. Braces. Not a problem. Shredding. Okay. That worked out well. And let's hit him. Don't need to breach anywhere. Alright, that guy took uh, the to the moon meme a little bit too literal. Two more berserkers. And the ghost definitely did some really, really nice damage this time. Moving closer. That'll trigger Overwatch. We're immune to that. Uh, we're immune to that. I will not be deterred. Unfortunately, we don't have any ammunition left. are striking the assassin good hit
Good, we're offering her a couple of targets that she could pick. And run and gun to here. Breaching shot into her face. Good. Bewildering wounds should kick in. Yeah, we're overwatching. All right, stupid harbor wave. I am the will of the elders. Their blade strikes from the shadows. I will not shudder. I shall strike. All right, revive. And revive. And move up. Revive. I would like to shred her, like really good. Come on. Very good. Um. Hmm. Not sure if we really want to use that. I'll figure it out in a second. Anyways, what we want to do is move here. Big fat lightning hands. These guys are almost down. I need to reload. There's no way around that. Oh, nice. Well, with the very last shot, before it would have gotten ugly, she finally falls. It wasn't easy, but we managed to pull it off, Commander. If only we could see the look on the elders' faces. Wow! Wow! Okay, finally. That makes uh, three out of three down, and that was a hard-fought battle. The reinforcements are picking up, man. Just the amount of hit points. I'm so happy that we saved the cooldowns to get the sarcophagus down in one go. Who would have known how another iteration would have looked like? Oh, <laughs> everybody is wounded and everybody is shaken. Superior auto loader on top of it. Great. And we got fear of chrysalids. Well, that is not good. Taurus. 
few of chrysalids actually the worst thing that could happen in this very campaign here Ooh, good Setting course for the Australian sector. well for one this has helped us in immensely current objectives based on the most recent findings. Bond training level 2 complete. Okay, fair enough. We've made initial contact with the resistance operatives working in this 51. Area. They're going to show us how to get into the alien forge facility. Oh boy. Both of these missions are going to be ultra tough. Yeah, and realistically, I don't even know what to build down here. Potentially, I leave it open for now. Do we have any any tactic that we can upgrade? No, or completely upgrade it. I'm just looking for power grabs, but I think I've already gotten everything. Signals coming through clear. Good integrated warfare, that is helpful. We need more intel. We could do this mission, but our main team first, all of them first of all need to get back to work and then I need 10 days in order to remove that here from uh, Taurus a few of chrysalids is not happening and in a perfect world covered action mission to, to get Sukugura promotion that would be helpful as well I think we're Avenger continuing with Intel just need enough to get South America under my control. Eight more days. Taurus has taken a lot of damage. Not good. Cool. Bulb hubs, very helpful. So we could either get a Reaper, which I think would make a lot of the missions, specifically the, um, the facilities easier. Facility lead into promotion wouldn't be bad either. Dodge six is good. It's just a quick, um, quick mission. To be honest, I think we want to get that one. And I think you two might be a perfect pair just to get that uh, extra faction soldier. It's even one day faster. So. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. That's good. Two days after the month ends. Ah. Uh. That was again not good. I wanted a heavy weapon and we got quite literally the worst. Armor penetration could be another good ammunition here.
lost. Just lost 48. Sounds too good to be true. And the Dark Elder have not shown up the entire the entire uh, mm, playthrough. Not a single one. But look at that. Dark Elder domination. Dark Elder forces have seized control of this area so that you can't keep it. <laughs> I don't want to fight Dark Elders. Oh, Undying Loyalty. Hmm. On a scale from one to ultra terrible. This here's pretty ultra terrible. But, but, they are lost. So, if we could theoretically use our lures and just get the command, uh, the the uh, field commander down then we could counter undying loyalty all we need to do is neutralize him we're not going to get the supplies if we afterwards just evac but we would at least counter undying loyalty which is the worst thing that could happen to this run so yeah I think we're going to go with that. Got some integrated warfare. Still don't exactly know uh, what North America would bring. But I guess we'll, we're going to find out soon-ish. Um, yeah, listen. I think that's the right call. And since we don't need to do anything else, might as well start building that. In case we're dominating, want to dominate the entire world. Yeah, we have a long recovery because we were so low on willpower. That was a harsh fight. Anyways, they will get back to it. Uh, we do have an okay team, like these here could build a decent team. Maybe I could actually start contesting um, that field commander. Not 100% sure. Look guys, it's going to be tough either way. Will Undying Loyalty completely break the campaign? Potentially not. It's already bad enough as it is, but it will make it more difficult. And when I do have 51 enemies in, uh, in the Golden Path missions, then that is just going to make it more difficult. My main problem is I don't know if uh, I'll be able to pull off uh, the Golden Path missions. They are actually quite difficult and the only way to find that out is actually to go through them and I think that will be uh, that will determine whether or not this run can be brought towards the finish line or not I mean we're going to find out one way or the other right um, thanks for watching if you enjoyed what you've seen uh, try to katana slash that like button and tell me if you had uh, dealt a critical hit. Thank you and have a good one. Bye-bye.